Deadly Games today. I'm going to be painting Ash Williams from the Deadly Games. I mean, the Evil Dead franchise. I have I had this model 3D printed for by a friend, and I gave it a slap chop paint coat, which is essentially just dry brush black base coat, dry brush gray, and then dry brush white. After a couple layers of gray, and he looks pretty good. I did the chainsaw to start off. I painted the skeleton all black just to make it easier for later on. Alright, so our first thing we're going to do is the flesh. We're going to take a little bit of Rackhar flesh here and paint it to all the fleshy areas. In this guy's case, it's the arms, the head, and the chest. And we're going to water this one down a bit. Just a little bit, because it is slap shot. So we will start by painting a little pectoral cavity here, arm there. If you've seen any of the Evil Dead movies, you know that his shirt gets torn a lot. Kind of like Captain Kirk. <laughs> Except cooler. Probably going to upset a lot of Trekkies with that statement, but fight me. And with that done, we are ready to move on to our next coat, which is going to be clothing. And this we're going to use Macrage Blue, water down a bit, tall clothing. With the Macrage Blue, water down a bit, we're going to paint just his shirt blue. His pants are brown, as you could probably see on little plush, plushy ash. But his co his clothing is blue. And due to our lovely slap chop technique we've done here. All the colors start to flow together and really bring out the mini. Now that done, next up we are going to paint his pants. If this warm from brown, water down once more. So I don't have a dark brown, so what we're going to do is I'm going to mix Rhinox Hide here with one part Abbott and Black. And make a dark brown for our pants. I'm going to put a little dab of water on it. And we're good to go. All right, so we just paint this our dark brown mixture onto his pants. I get a little more of that on there. Let's see the color. Uh, that done. The brown on the pants is complete. So next up, we're just gonna take straight Morn Fang. And apply it to all the wooden and belt pieces. So that'll be the stock here. And a little pump. You can acquire yourself an Ash Miniature, I'd highly recommend that. I got this one off um, Yegi and I had a guy pr print it for me. Next up, we're going to paint the little belt areas. All right, that done. We have the belts and the gun stock all taken care of. There's actually a lot more belts in this guy than I thought. Next up, we're going to do the hair. And this is just going to be watered down black. Abaddon black, to be specific. Over his scalp. Actually, yeah, I'll just apply straight Abaddon, actually. Don't, don't apply water down Abaddon. I just remember to slap chop so dark black doesn't work on that. And after the hair's done, we're going to start to move on to the skeleton. Next up, we're going to do the skeleton. So for this, we're going to just take a plain out white scar. Layer brush or dry brush. For this tutorial, I'm going to do layer brush. And we're going to, over its black, go over the bones ever so slightly. So, like that. Makes it look quick, easy, and good. So you don't spend all your time painting the bones. 
All right, with the skeleton done, we're ready to move on to the next part, which for this is going to be shading in flesh. Now for this, we're going to take Morn Fang Brown and heavily water it down. So this will probably be one part Morn Fang and two parts water. I should make it three for safety measures. I'll wipe it around a little bit. Almost fluid. And paint that over flesh. So it acts like a shade without having to shade. All right. Next up, we're gonna paint all the metal on him. And for this, we're gonna be using Eshin Gray. And not just straight ash and gray. So this will be on things like the gun barrel. The gun barrel, gun sides. And then chainsaws. Blade is a big one. Alright, that done, we're ready for the next step, which for this guy is going to be his clothing. So after all of his cloth has been dried, we're going to take Hoeth Blue and do a highlight. So we're just going to like paint the edges of his cloth and then just slightly edge it and dry brush it. After this, we're going to probably shade it again with macroish blue. This will also like take, a, take care of any little browns you have kicking around on the mini. Be careful not to hit the flesh with this. It's kind of a brighter color, so it's going to pop out more. Okay, so after that, we're going to take like Brown's water down, the water down more thing here and apply it to his pants. Okay, so now we have done that, we're going to touch up the flesh once more. For this, we're going to be using flayed one flesh. It's a plain more of a highlight terms to his skin. On the face we just do a little light dry brush to get recesses covered. That done, we'll leave it dry. We are going to start next on the metal once more. So, first, I'm going to take lead belcher. And paint it right onto the gun barrel. If you're curious why we did the gray first instead of just applying straight with lead belcher, well, it adds depth to the mini. And for chainsaw, I just dry brush the silver all over it. Be careful not to cross contaminate your silver with your actual paint because that leaves glitter in your water and that makes the whole miniature look glittery. So, next up, we're going to work on the chainsaw a bit here. We're going to take Mephiston Red. Where'd I leave it? Okay, I can take Mephiston Red here. So after Mephiston Red, we're going to just paint the edges of the chainsaw. And dry brush it. Here we go. So 
here's the next stage. We're going to shade big time. So we're going to take Abaddon Black here. Take a whole bunch of it and put it on my palette. Abaddon Black here. Alright, we got Abaddon Black. We're going to dip it in a bunch of water to make a shade like paint. Alright, next, what we're going to do first is we're going to shade his pants. Give it a darker color. So the pants actually have a defined look to them. Next up we're going to shade the chainsaw and the steel. You notice how Abaddon Black shades tend to pop your maze entirely to life. It's like a whole new reanimation. We shade the hair as well. And the gun barrel. This little backpack here. This little metal case. I just forgot to mention we we're going to shade the gun barrel here too. And, I mean the stock and the barrel. And if when you're painting, the, when I painted the hands here, it kind of um bled over, so I'm going to just dot that one thing real quick. There we go. So now we're going to paint the skeleton sword. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to start with a base of Mornfang Brown. Just straight more things brown onto it. And you're gonna want to go across the thing while avoiding the little holes. Again, you're not gonna get this exact mini unless you are very, very lucky and very want and want to acquire it. But this is just if you're painting the ash mini or if you just want to challenge yourself for fun, make an ash on your board or something. And we're just gonna paint the whole sword a dirty more thing brown. Try to like wipe off some of the paint on his sword if you can. Actually, while we're at it with the board fang, I'm going to do some dirt here on the base. And while that's drying on the sword and the dirt, we're going to paint, start making a chainsaw look more chainsaw-ish. So we're going to take Lead Belcher once more and start to like do a couple little things on chainsaw. First up, we're gonna paint this little doohickey here, silver. Lead belcher. And this little grate here is gonna be silver. Now we're gonna do corner here, silver. Alright, lay that up. We're gonna, with that done, we're gonna. Start finishing up the sword here. In fact, we're going to take our flathead brush and dry brush the lead belcher across it. Alright, so wipe off about all the lead belcher. And then just strike across the sword. And this creates a rust effect without having to buy like a rust paint or something. We need these swords to look rusty. That our mini is almost near nearing completion. Our next step is gonna be to highlight the brown. For this, we're going to take Xandri Dust. Take Xandri Dust, mix it with more thing. One part Xandri in the palette. And one part more thing. Mix them together. And then we take our pointed brush, we highlight all the belts. Alright, he's almost nearing the end of his completion, so now we're gonna do his face. Okay, so. We're going to get our extra fine tip brush here. 
we take white. And this part might be hard, and there's a, I always do faces, but. I always do just to do faces, but we just gotta dot his wheelie lies here. One dot. Two dot. It's alright if you dab a little extra white around it. Our next thing will help take care of that. Yeah. Yeah, I got the eyes there. Alright, next up we're going to take some little bit of Abaddon Black. Put that in black and water it down on the palette. Like heavy water down. Very heavy. Take off. And we can take our fine brush again and just sort of make stubble on his face. And with that done, the silver is added a bunch to him. And we're going to move on to our next bit, which is going to be his boots, which we're just going to paint black. Because black boots are cool. Boots. The really simple, just paint his boots black. Don't really need to highlight his boots too much. Alright, after this, we're going to touch up the stone and the skeleton. Now, for a little bit of the skeleton sword, to add a bit more to it, we're going to take a bit of typhus corrosion, like a bit of typhus corrosion technical paint, and brush a little bit on the sword spots. The tip, the handle, wipe a bit of it off, then dry brush it on the other side. Look good, good on that. All right. Next up is the stone. We're going to paint all the stone here, ash and gray, even the dirt. That I've already painted. Roll. So, with that done, we are ready for our last few bits, which for Ash here, we're going to be shading his, his body, his clothing, dark blue. So we take Macrish Blue, and a large part of it is water. It's going to become water anyway. Very large part. Mucho grande. we got to water it down a lot, because we only want this to get to the recesses. we got like the right color up front. So then we just apply it right to the body, and you already see it start to pop out. This is the last step on his cloth before he calls cloth good. And okay, with well that done, we're ready to. Alright, with that done, we're going to do his face. So, I'm just going to. I already dotted his eyes, I already gave it a little black. Dots. It doesn't look great because of the filament print, but we're going to start adding little marks on his face. So I'm going to take some corn red, the extra fine tip, go on his mouth, and just do a little scratch, get up there a little scratch. There we go. A little scratch right here. 
a little scratch right across there just for tastes. Okay, well, that done, we're ready for the next part, which will be edging the silver. So for this, we're going to take we're going to take Runefang steel and what we're going to do with it is going to dry brush the chainsaw edges. Creates a little chain effect. Use the edged gun barrel. Give it a little definition. Touch up the chainsaw workings. More definition. Color pop. Yeah, this isn't a resin mini, or else I'd, it'd have more detail, but it's kind of it's filament. Or else could take that silver and edge the blade a little bit. Like so. Okay, we're gonna take bullet for blood out here and edge those wounds. I'm just gonna wipe a little bit off his face there. A little much, in my opinion. Okay, and we're also gonna tip the chainsaw a bit in blood. Just a little bit. Yeah, sorry, camera difficulties here. But anyway, going to edge the chainsaw a little bit. Well, just a little. Not too much. Next thing will make it better. All right. All right. Now, one of the last few things for the base for completion. We're gonna take this vermilion here. Put a little bit on our palette. And we'll take our brush and dip it right between the lines of this. And dip it right between the lines of the basing. If you get some on the edges, that's fine. Goal here is to make it look like he's just awoken the evil dead. Alright. Well, after that, we're going to take our Celestial Grey, if I can find it. Celestial Grey. And wipe it off our dry brush. And edge the base, the rock, rocking. And in the middle of it, just kind of stipple. So the next bit on the base is we're going to take black hair and water down a lot to create a shade for dirt. heavy watering. I'm just going to drop a little bit on the dirt that I already... So the dirt effect was achieved with Armageddon dust prior to priming the mini in certain spots to create a dirty look. Okay, so next up we're going to mix just a deep yellow with this vermilion we had on our palette. We'll just mix it together to create a deepish yellow-orange. 
Then we're going to put that in the same crack way we did. Just a little more generous corners. that then we're going to apply blue for blue guide to the actual guy so for this we're going to be a bit more controlled and just then we're going to splatter so first up we're just going to stipple blood 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 Alright, now we're going to take a lot of water, mix up our blood for blood guide, then just flick it to me. This will create like little blood splatters. This isn't working that well on him, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take straight for blood for blood guide. Wrong pot. That could have been bad. Let's take, take straight blood for blood guide and then just flick. Flick it to me. This works with larger brushes. Like, like this. So just take it, we take our. Just, yeah, it kind of worked, not too much. I don't know what we could just do is we could just take our very fine point brush here. And if we really want to go intricate on the patterns of the blood, just dot, 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 dot. Yeah. Alright. Our next up on the thing is we're going to take yellow and then just go in the way middle of our fine brush. This little rock mix mess thing. Way middle of the rock mess, then lightly the edges, lighten the edges on it. Okay, and then a couple last things we're gonna do. Just gonna take Xandri dust and dry brush the dirt a little bit. Breathe some more color into the dirt. Especially the ones near Skeleton's gut. Gives it contrast. Alright. Next, the last thing, I'm going to show a special trick that I haven't really used much. So, we take Gorilla Glue. Dip, put it on our palette here. We take, uh, well, actually, you're supposed to put the blood for blood god first, but take a little bit of blood god. Put a little bit of blood god, put it off the corner here. And we mix the glue and the blood god together. It creates this perfect sticky kind of thing. The goal is you want to put it right on the mini when it's mixing. Yeah, I let it harden too fast. It's perfect if you have a Q-tip press. Um, Alright, blood for blood, I take two. So we dip it here, and I take glue from the glue. Again, you want a toothpick for this. And we dip it on the blood there. Just mix it around. We take this two thing string method here. Just try to string it. Pull it away, kind of. Yeah, it's not working today. 
Normally you use the tube stuff for this. I don't have it on me tonight. Today. What time you're watching this at. But what we can do is just take blood for blood god and whatever glue we do have. And just sort of make it sticky. Just all over the chainsaw. With that, it's just about just about done. We're just going to color his base here. All right. First up on the base is we're going to color the egg. All right. Well, last thing we're doing here, is we take this green, edge it, edge the base. I want dark green, so I'll just this. Like so. Now that our evil dead fighter is just about done. So I'm gonna call it good because this video's already gonna run for almost half an hour and not many of you are gonna watch it for that long. But thanks for watching, God bless, and keep it groovy.